Hey, what's going on, everybody? We're back here live talking to Christian Navarro um, on this week's segment of Book Talk. Uh, what do you got? What are you got to bring to the table, Christian? Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm actually here to talk to you guys about J. Abner Pettywell's uh, The Sabretooth Curriculum. Um, but before I can even get diving into the concept of the book and, you know, the deeper meaning and uh, all that juicy stuff, uh, we first need to talk about New Fist. Um, because trying to talk about the Sabretooth curriculum without talking about New Fist is kind of like trying to talk about Easter without the bunny, the tooth without the fairy. Um, so he was the first man to really think about how we can, how they at that time uh, can implement survival skills into curriculum and education uh, just so that their their tribe's children are uh, prepared with skills necessary to survive um, and just uh, continue to progress as a society and civilization. And uh, some of these basics that uh, New Fist had considered that is daily used in their survival is uh, fish grabbing, horse club. Who put this on? <sighs> Interns, man. Um, horse clubbing and tiger scaring. Uh, these were the skills necessary for them to really just thrive as a civilization, giving them the basic needs of uh, food, shelter, clothing, protection. And you know, this actually got me thinking about um, Wiggins and McTie's uh, understanding by design, um, thinking what's the bigger picture? So what's what's my goal? Newfist's goal was survival. So what skills are necessary to survive? And uh, I really just felt like that was a reflection on our education system as a whole. Now you're probably asking yourself, okay, what does this have to do with anything really? Um, well, when you think about it, New Fist's uh, basic education system or curriculum is a lot like our basic education system, which is reading, writing, and arithmetic. Now, like anything ever, um, things change. And in New Fist's circumstance, uh, the environment changed. It got cold. Uh, they were no longer uh, able to use their, their traditional tactics uh, that was the basics of fish grabbing, uh, horse clubbing, and tiger scaring. Uh, now they were faced with new threats of uh, muddy fish. Um, so it was hard for them to grab a hold of these fish with their bare hands. Uh, they had antelope um, where it was uh, originally easier for them to hit a horse with literally their club. Uh, now they're faced with um, a an animal that has a higher sense of awareness and can have more agility to move around and get away from the club so um, and lastly they're they're faced with um, bears uh, where in the traditional sense they're tiger scaring using fire worked uh, now they're faced with a new threat uh, that isn't scared of the same fire so uh, with these three three these three circumstances changing um, it left uh, new fist and you know his his uh, educational leaders uh, to think what are we gonna do now um, how do we how do we adjust ourselves to this uh, climate that we're in so that we can continue to survive and uh, you know this actually brought me back to the, the most recent crisis we had um, in our 21st century world uh, which is the COVID-19 uh, pandemic um, and at that time uh, regarding education we had to change our how we taught our students we had to um, do distance learning we had to do zoom calls um, and you know for the most part that left a lot of teachers that weren't comfortable with this technology confused uh, and not really knowing how to go about the situation under these circumstances um, but you know it really forced us uh, adapt to these changes in society um, overcome these challenges with creative solutions so how to make zoom calls interesting how to make these uh, these distance learning uh, you know teachings more are just as valuable as if it would be in person um, and lastly asking ourselves like what tools do we need and to thrive in this new environment um, you know and and if you think about it we've had these tools at at the touch of our fingertips for so long we've had uh, computers we've had uh, internet we've had cell phones like these are tools that aren't new 
to us, but it is new to education because of how uncommon it's used. And much like we had to redesign our education curriculum, our teaching methods, um, that also forced New Fist and the uh, Paleoethic um, Society to redesign their curriculum. So instead of grabbing fish with their bare hands, now they were grabbing fish using nets. Instead of uh, clubbing the, uh, the horses, now they were using vine to capture the antelope because they there's no way they had the, the same agility as them. Um, and you know, fire didn't scare their new threat, which was a bear. Uh, so what was the next best thing? You know, keeping your distance, uh, trapping them, digging a hole, uh, just so you're you're able to say that safe distance away. Um, and you know, these these new methods of survival, it made sense to teach in the education system because now things are changing. Um, your 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 traditional survival skills are no longer um applicable to this newly changed environment but um you know it made sense to make these changes in the curriculum in the education in the ability to survive however uh you were faced with more conservative thinkers and uh leaders that considered that teaching new curriculum uh it would just it would cramp the whole traditional style uh there wouldn't be enough time to cover everything um there'd be too much to cover and it'd be too confusing for students to really comprehend what's going on um and lastly uh it's 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 too wild of an idea to change something that was made in their society by a uh a supernatural figure and so that's when uh, New Fist really uh, stepped up and a, a few other radical thinkers and they uh, really just emphasized that, you know, this, this learning, although it's, it, it does seem scary and it does seem uh, threatening to traditional sense, um, it's in, really, in reality the, the curriculum that we're teaching our students should be uh, the basic needs to survive. Um, we're acting as their guides to teach them these things at a young age. Um, why should they have to wait for adulthood to learn these things when we can teach them now so that they can become more advanced than we could ever be at their, at their when they reach the adulthood stage? Um, he also focused on adaptability. He felt that uh, we really just need to adjust to the changes, the times, um, so that way we're, we are able to work smarter, not harder. Let's use our brains. Let's uh, make life easier for us. Let's adapt to the society. Otherwise, we're going to be left behind. And you you don't even know what that could lead to. Uh, and then uh, finally, the uh, more conservative thinkers finally got on board with uh, teaching this newly developed curriculum and implementing it into the more traditional uh, taught curriculum. Uh, however, it wasn't in, in the most ideal sense um, how the more conservative and traditional thinkers really considered uh, the curriculum to be covered was uh, by difficulty, uh, dullness, and w- most importantly to them was respectability. Uh, they, they more so assumed that um, if the teaching's hard and it's difficult and students are struggling with it, um, that's going to really demonstrate that they're learning. However, um, it wasn't until uh, New Fist really addressed or brought to their attention, you know, like this education that you guys are teaching them, it's actually making it worse. Uh, they're, they are um, me- rem- remembering everything they need to remember and memorizing it. However, they're not able to apply it. Um, and you know he new fist really emphasized that our curriculum needs to prepare better teachers um as educators we need to be a guide we don't need to um have it have the education go one uh, strictly one way and especially our way like that's not how it works um we have to allow our students to be critical and creative thinkers we have to allow them to make mistakes we have to allow them to uh, learn, learn using their own problem solving, um, and you know some ways that New Fist really, really emphasize that we should, how we should go about this education. And a few other radical teachers, by the way, um, was designing uh, 
the curriculum to be uh, fun and interactive, engaging, uh, creative, and really to connect for, uh, the the education to life outside of um, life outside of the class. You know, and it really got me reflecting about. Uh, just our education system today um you know you saw the conservatives thinking that education being dull and difficult and um really respectable was the way to go about education and it really just reminded me of a a a more teacher-centered education which as a student i didn't feel was right for me i can't recall much of what i learned in high school however new fist theology uh, was more of, of the student's concern, which we can see today in a lot of uh, student-centered uh, approaches using like project-based learning, flipped classrooms, um, where the the goal of the curriculum is for students to find or students to learn information that's applicable to life following uh, following high school. Um, that students are able to understand what they're they're learning, not just know, but able to. Um, take a concept and apply it in a different circumstance or situation. Yeah, and so after reading um, the Sabretooth curriculum developed by New Fist, uh, it really just made me reflect on our society today. It made me uh, really see that these two uh, timelines aren't too different from one another aside from the eras they're set in. Um, you know, on one hand you have uh, cavemen really just trying to uh, adapt to a society that is changing in regard regards to um uh food shelter and survival um and where we have a society changing you know especially in the most recent years uh in a pandemic uh able to teach virtually able to use uh digital technology in our education um and uh you know because that that's actually stuff that we use outside of the classroom on a regular basis much like the uh, paleoethic uh, civilization was using those survival skills outside of their um, classroom. Um, but I, I, I don't want to spoil too much else about the book. Those were just, the, I feel like, the, the top three um, ideas that really just stuck out to me as, you know, pursuing educator and uh, why I felt like this book is relevant to my life. Hey, thanks for making it in, Christian, for our weekly book talk. We really appreciate the time you had here. Uh, We'll get back to you guys with our Power Hour Mix uh, following a few words from our sponsors.